thought in the prime envelope. This is tear, but I never tear very good, so we'll just go into it. Woohoo! <laughs> what do we got here? Well, we've got a new soap making journal. One of these days, I've got to take you guys on a journey because I have literally dozens of formulation notebooks starting from 20 years ago. So <laughs> this is really, really fun. Um, let's check out. I'll show you what this one's like. Oops. I'm going to cut. I like handmade products that are hand bound. And this one has this cute little latch. I love that latch. It keeps everything where it should be so I don't lose my pens or anything. But the, the paper is raw cut and sewn in. It's, it's sometimes the edges are, this one's actually been trimmed so it's quite, quite nice. Um, but I like them rough too. I use it. It's not, but anyway, I got that one. All right. So if you guys would like to see me go through my journals and remember things that I need to work on, because a lot of times I'll wake up in the middle of the night, I'll write it down. I'm just like a writer when it comes to formulating. I study my ingredients and as I have ideas on how to combine them, I write down ideas and then I test those ideas and then I change those ideas so that it fits what my perception I believe that perception should be so if you've ever been through this process you know exactly what I'm talking about uh, bath bombs alone went through an entire uh, development process and probably six to eight different products came out of just me learning to play with the ingredients that are used in bath bombs um, yeah, so if you'd like to see some of my journals and see me flip through, I draw pictures, <laughs> I do soap designs, so many, so many fun things. And if you are a creator, you should have some kind of a creating creator's notebook. And they're really cheap on Amazon and super fun. If you enjoyed this, please click like and subscribe and come on back to my soapy kitchen anytime. Bye for now.